ABC 7 business commentator Richard Stern is joining us now to tell us that we've had a triple digit decline on Wall Street. Haley, I'm afraid you're exactly right. And actually, the market opened higher this morning. A lot of the major banks announced quarterly earnings, and they came in as well, if not better than expected. And the market did open higher. But unfortunately, the mother of all bombs, as you called it, took a mother of all bomb rally straight to heck on Wall Street. And we finished at the low of the day, down almost 140 points. So unfortunately, our four-day week finishes with down arrows. Let's take a look at the numbers, and they are not very attractive. There you see the Dow down by 138 points. It is the low of the day, down exactly two-thirds of one point uh, percent point, thank you, 20,435.25, that on volume of 802 million shares. The NASDAQ down more than one half of 1 percent, 31 points at 5,805.15, that on volume of 1,717,000,000 shares. And the S&P almost exactly the same as the Dow, down two-thirds of 1 percent, 16 points at 2,328.95. Well, Tesla, we all know of Tesla as being in the automobile business with electric vehicles, right? Right, but guess what? In September, Tesla announced they are going to introduce, ready for this, a semi. Yes, I did say a semi. And they believe it's going to be very, very successful. The reason being, look at all the gas it's going to save. It won't use any gas at all. And in the transportation business, certainly the cost of fuel is a major, major issue. They also said they're going to introduce a pickup truck. Now, we're talking about fall for the semi, really next year after that for the pickup truck. But you put it all together, Haley, and I have to tell you, Elon Musk and his people uh, are just very innovative, very creative, and they just keep on going. And a lot of people say they're really not a vehicle business. They're an energy business, a battery business, but whatever you call it, stock's doing very well, up 2.5% today, despite the fact the market was lower. And Richard, there might be some other models that'll fit other tastes, possibly. Possibly your very own. It's funny you mention that because guess what? They announced their next Roadster is going to be a convertible. So what could be better in Florida than an electric convertible just for you? I think it'd be great. Perfect. On a day like today? Absolutely. Sounds great. Thank you, Richard. You're welcome.